Hello, in this video I would like to make a comparison between uh, DigitalOcean and Hetner to see exactly what they have to offer and uh, what performances both of them are uh, having. Yesterday I made a uh, review about Hetner and uh, what can, uh, what can uh, offer for you and how is the performance when you want to host your WordPress website there, so you may want to, to check that if you want more detail about the Hesner cloud service. In this uh, video, we're gonna review both of the services and see what they're offering and what are the performances that uh, both of uh, these services uh, have. So, this is Hesner interface and uh, this is the DigitalOcean interface both are similar interfaces i've already have two, two servers created here that i've used for for this this test if you check for instance uh, in this option i have uh, two ubuntu servers created one is the general one and one is the amd performance one in hesner i just created one uh, vps that uh, has two CPUs and two, <clears throat> two gigabits of RAM. It's the most uh, low priced options from for, from Hesner. Okay, so right now let's see, for instance, what both have to to offer from VPS per perspective. We will hit create here in DigitalOcean and go to droplets. You'll see here that uh, we can create uh, Droplets with uh, Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, CentOS, Rocky Linux. You can choose the plan like basic or general purpose. This is for dedicated CPU and things things like that. The, the, the price is for basic one. It starts from five, uh, $5 for one gigabyte and one CPU. 25 gigabyte of SSD the disks and uh, it goes up for instance uh, for an uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM for CPU will pay $40 for the premium I mean AMD ones they are more expensive also it have uh, it has a couple of uh, dollars added for instance you you pay $48 with $8 more for uh, the same uh, uh, for the same uh, for uh, AMD CPUs and the uh, gigabytes. Also, they have Intel, same prices for for, for AMD. So this is uh, what they have to, to offer in terms of VPS. In here, we have the data center location. DigitalOcean has more data centers, as we'll see. You have New York, San Francisco from USA. In Europe, you have Amsterdam, London, and Frankfurt. You have also in Canada, in India, Bangalore. In Singapore, you have another one. So this is what they, they're offering. You can enable backups in here with 10% of the droplet price. Yeah. Next, let's go to, to Hesner and see what they, they have to offer. The interface is similar. In here, you have the the data centers, you have less data centers, you have three in Europe, you have in Germany two and the one in, in Finland, in Helsinki, and one in uh, in Ashburn area in US. For the images, you have similar images in here that you can choose from. Type in here, you have the standard one, which shares CPU and dedicated one that you have for, for the solution. In here for the standard shape, they, they start with uh, with four euros and 50 cents, the lowest one, and uh, it goes up, for instance, if you want to to take the bigger one, you will, you have this one that uh, for uh, this Rosen was for $40, in here you, you have uh, for four CPUs with eight gigabytes uh, of uh, of RAM, you have like four, 14 euros, so it's less expensive. Hasner in in general, it's uh, it has more affordable services than uh, 
then DigitalOcean, and this is a big plus for the one that doesn't have a, a big budget and uh, wants something that uh, it is good, reliable and uh, doesn't want to pay a lot of money for them. Okay, so this is how they, they are priced for this, uh, for, for this battle. The prices are better on Hesner, but you have more data centers that you can choose from on DigitalOcean. So it depends on function of your, of your needs, what, what you choose on, on this. For me, the winner is Hesner in, when it comes to prices, data center, we have DigitalOcean because it has more, it has more continents. The interface, it looks similar, so I don't, uh, I don't see any difference in, in here. Next, we're going to check the, the performance of this, uh, of this VPS. So I've created one VPS in DigitalOcean and one in Hesner. The, the one that I've created in DigitalOcean is the one with the general regular Intel SSD is the one that has two CPUs, two gigabytes of RAM is $15. I've also created a premium AMD one just to test and see how how is doing in in a, in an AMD CPU? It cost eighty dollars in Hasner. I chose the low cost one that we have in Ashburn, and is this one with uh, two virtual CPUs, two gigabytes of RAM, at about four seventy five euros. This is without taxes, so you will need to pay also taxes for this if you choose them. So the the price can be a little higher. Okay, I will not rerun the test. We're gonna just recheck them and see the, the results. In the left side, we have the DigitalOcean one and in the right side, we have the Hesner one. You see here that is the regular plan and here are the CPU cores and memory. Both are the, are, are the same. DigitalOcean is offering more, more space than uh, Hesner. This is a, a plus. But if we check in here, like the disk speed test, we can see that Hesner has bigger write and read speeds than the, the DigitalOcean one has. In DigitalOcean, we have a SSD. In this side, we have an NVMe one. That's, that's why you have these differences in the read and write speed. So for this, for the disks, the clear winner here is Hasner with next the network speed is, is, is tested. We see here, let's go and check this, the, the speeds that this both have. Both have 10 gigabytes uh, interface and you see here like uh, for UK, the, the speed is lower for both. Then uh, you have the France that uh, digital version is doing better. For Netherlands here, it, it was been that this couldn't be made. And in general, Digital Ocean has a better speed, not by much, but the network performance is slightly better in, in Digital Ocean after this test. And in here we have the, the CPU test. Here, as you can see, in uh, Geekbench 5, the single CPU and the multi multi core test, you see here like Hesner, it's uh, doing a much better job with only five, uh, five dollars, about five dollars, if we exchange them to to the US, you you have uh, like a double performance increase. I've also tested. Let's go down. I've also tested the premium AMD shape of this tower because I didn't. Uh, uh, I wasn't very happy with the results that this solution had, and I wanted to see exactly also how the premium AMD one compares with uh, with the with the Hesner one. So in here you see that the service the premium AMD one it's eighty dollars, and in here we have the tests. You see here like uh, the speed is not that. Great if you compare it with uh, Hesner one. Hesner one has better read and write speeds. In here they are double. If 
if we if we check the comparison between them the the, the speeds for the network it, it, they are similar with the digital ocean uh, one that was done for the for the basic shape regular one it is in the same data center here we have the multi cpu scores and in here the the results are better than the intel but still doesn't came close to what has has to offer for a five dollar shape okay the other test that i did is i've installed a wordpress website so i've installed same WordPress websites and in a subdomain and uh, another one for DigitalOcean server. So these are the, the websites. There they have the exactly the same thing and same plugin in, in there. So I did some tests to, to measure and see how they are doing. I did a Gtrim matrix one. Here is a Hesner one. Yeah, the, the results are very similar. If, We'll check them. You see here, like the performance, it's 996. The load time, it's about 1.33 1, 1 seconds, 1.54 for everything. You see here, the, there are some uh, improvements that can, can be made. Here are the, the results for the performance metrics. Yeah, things are quite good for, for Hesner in here. If we check also the DigitalOcean one, it has similar similar results. You see here, like the there are similar load times and recommendation. The website is loading in 1.4 seconds, and in here we have similar performance metrics like the other the other one. So there are many differences in in here that uh, this. Uh, both uh, VPS are are offering. The other test that I have uh, I have did is the page speed one. So let's go and see where it is. Okay. So in here we have the Google page speed one. In digital version we have ninety percent performance. First content paint it's contentful paint is like two point and speed index 3.1 seconds so these are very good results they can be enhanced if you optimize your WordPress website similar results can be seen in Hesner one so this test uh, it's a uh, it's offering a tie you don't you don't uh, see any any improvements in any of all of them another test that I did I've done a load test with K6 for both both of them. So what I did, I uh, created a script that it's uh, creating 200 session in the same time for for the server, just to see the load time and the response time and to see if you have any failures in here. Let's go and see the, the top results in here. You see that the load of the server is not high. It's like uh, barely uh, barely noticed this this traffic so both of these servers did a good job in uh, in handling the traffic that uh, that the load uh, sent sent to them if we check in here the the results for the k6 we see that uh, we, we don't have any any failed request you see in digital host you have zero failed request you have an average load time of 1.3 1.36 seconds maximum one it's two seconds so the results are are, are very good on digital ocean or has not use you see the same or similar results in here you you have a zero failed request and you you have the verge load time similar to the to the digital ocean one so both uh, both of the VPS server can can handle uh, traffic very very well, and uh, you can even uh, even send more traffic because it will it will handle handle it. The cyber panel it's a very good hosting panel, and uh, both of the services are offering very good uh, 
very good VPS servers. So in the in the end, what I would like to, to tell is that both of these services are good, but for the same money, Hesner is doing an even better job than DigitalOcean. I am uh, using Hesner for some time in Europe and uh, I wasn't disappointed of uh, what they're offering. Their services was, was good and the website uh, availability was uh, <clears throat> was very good. I didn't have problems with the website that I host on Hesner server. So if you want to to have if you want to to check this alternative to DigitalOcean Hesner one that it's a more affordable one, you can do so and uh, and see how it does for you. Thanks for for watching this video. Please don't forget to like it and subscribe it. Thanks. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.